Okay, let's go ahead and begin the demonstration at Challenge Activity 3.8.1 Unit Conversion. I'll go through the six problems, uh, how to evaluate, do the conversions that are associated with each of these. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first one gives you some specs, says the wall's 3,750 square feet, gallon of paint covers 750 square feet, complete the conversion factor. So the first thing, let me hit, click the start button here. <clears throat> it says one gallon is how many square feet? Well, uh, a gallon on this particular thing is listed right here. A gallon of paint is 750 square feet. And typically when we set up and what we're gonna do within the problems is set up each of these guys as a ratio. So one gallon based on what I've selected here is 750 square feet. So 750 square feet. And in this case, all they're asking for is what is the value of this case? One gallon is what is the question mark? The question mark is the 750. So I'm gonna do is type in 750 on this one check it and we've got the correct answer on the first part. Let's go to the second. On this one, we have to type in the given conversion factor. So we're gonna to wanna to type in exactly what's listed here. So in this instance, it says, enter the complete conversion factor uh, based on whatever uh, the example is. So in this case, they wanna know miles to gallon is based upon this number that I've just highlighted. Now, when you typically do a conversion factor, you can't leave off the one. What you typically do in this case, if it's miles per gallon or a per conversion, you have to list the one that's in front, similar to what it's listed here in the example. So in this case, miles to gallon conversion is listed in the second sentence. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in 40 miles, slash one gallon. And it has to be typed in as is with the one that's in front of the gallon. If we check that, notice we've got the correct answer. All they were looking for on the second thing was to enter the conversion factor. So that's what's going on with part two. Now we're gonna get into some additional conversions in this case. So it says a car has three gallons of gas and it says, how far can the car drive if we get 40 miles to the gallon? So we'll start out with the base. The base in this instance is three gallons. So I'm gonna write out three gallons. I'm gonna do a times and a bar here. So in this case, we're gonna go in and says, how far can you go with 40 miles to the gallon? Well, I wanna get rid of gallon because they wanna know far would be the mileage in this case. So when I set up this guy here, very similar to what I did in the previous problem, I'm gonna put 40 miles on top and I'm gonna put one gallons. And I know that's not proper English, but I want the same unit on top as I do on bottom. What that allows me to do in this instance is to cancel out the gallons in this case. So now I'm left with the numbers three times 40, three times 40 is 120. Your final units is now the miles. Notice miles is already listed there. All they want is the numeric that's typed inside of the front there. So I'm gonna type in 120 in this instance, check it, and notice I've got the correct answer on part three. Let's go ahead and go to four. Car has nine gallons of gas. How far can it drive if one gallon of gas uh, gets the car 30 miles. So again, I'm going to start out with the same thing as before. The starting base is the nine gallons. So I'm going to write nine gallons off here to the right, a times and a bar. I want to know how far, so that's going to be miles as the final unit. So one gallon, 30 miles. That's going to be your conversion factor. Now, if I want to get rid of gallons, the gallons has to go to the bottom. So I've got one gallons in this case, 30 miles is the other part of the conversion factor. You'll notice in this instance, the units of gallons cancel out. Nine and the 30 reside on the top. If they reside on the top, you're gonna multiply them. If it would have been on the bottom, you would have divided. So if I take nine times 30, that's 270. Your final units are miles. So I have 270 miles. Miles is already listed there. So all you're keying in is the 270 in this instance. So I'm gonna key in 270, 
check it, and we're good to go on part four. Let's go to part five. Okay, car gets 20 miles to the gallon. Gas costs $2 per gallon. How far can the car drive with $14 of gas? So we're gonna start out with, you start out with $14. I wanna know how far it can drive. So when all said and done, we want miles as our final unit. So that's our starting point. I start out with $14 times and a bar. Well, which one involves our conversion factors here in terms of dollars. It's gonna be that guy that I've just put in red. Well, if dollars is on top, you need to put whatever number and the unit on the bottom. So that's gonna require that I've got $2 on the bottom. And then the gallon, remember what we said earlier in this presentation, that if it's per gallon, we need to list that as one gallons in this instance. You'll notice in this case that the units of dollars cancel out. So now I've got 14, two on the bottom. 14 divided by two gives me seven and my final units are gallons. Now we're not done with the problem yet because that's only part of it. I've only used that part of the conversion. Now I need to go in and I need to use this to get to how many miles? This guy right here that I've just put in green. 20 miles to the gallon. So that's gonna require another times in a bar. Well, you need to get rid of gallon. So the gallon is on bottom. And again, per unit, we need to list a one gallons in this case, 20 miles. And again, putting it on top or bottom, one gallon, 20 miles, or 20 miles, one gallon, doesn't matter whatsoever. It's how you get rid of the units <laughs> when you do your conversion. So gallons cancel out, seven times 20 is 140 miles. Our final unit is miles. It's already listed in the problem. The only thing we're keying in is the 140. Let's key in 140, check it, and notice we have the correct answer on part five. Last part, wall is 400 square feet. 100 square feet is covered by a gallon of paint. A gallon of paint costs $2. How much money is needed to paint the wall? So we have 400 square feet. We need to know how much money it's gonna to cost to cover 400 square feet. So 400 for this particular problem is gonna be your starting base. So we're gonna start out with 400 square feet. I'm gonna do a times and a bar. Now, in this case, I need to get rid of square feet. Well, out of the three lines that are listed there, what has square feet in it? Well, it's gonna be this line right here. So 100 square feet is by one gallon. So you need to get rid of square feet. That means that the 100 square feet is gotta go to the bottom. And that means a gallon is going to be one gallon in this instance. Square feet cancels out. Notice the 100 is on the bottom, so you have to take the division. 100 goes into 400 four times, so I have four gallons at this point. We're not done because we need to get to money. That's going to involve the next conversion factor, which is that one that I just put the answer. So a gallon, $2. So times in a bar, need to get rid of gallons to get to dollars. So a gallon is going to be one gallons on the bottom and then dollars on top, $2. In this case, the gallons cancel out. Both the numbers are on top, so they're multiplied. Four times two is going to get me to $8. Dollars already expressed, only have to con uh, key in the value of the eight. So let's key that in as eight, check it. And notice we have the correct answer there. This completes the demonstration of challenge activity 3.8.1 unit conversion. Thanks.